So morning, morning, everybody. We're going to start with child's pose position today. I feel like I haven't done this for ages, like a live online class. So um, I'm going to have my knees fairly wide, and then I'm just going to slide my arms forward and find my comfortable place, lowering my head and chest and reaching my fingers and putting my bottom down into my heels. Knees and hips don't always like this, so you can lift onto your elbows, keeping the knees wide and just curving the spine up towards the ceiling and then just come back to neutral and go again, just curving there. Otherwise, sink it back. Always, as always, we claw those fingers forward, stretching down the arms into the lats, pulling our bottoms back into our heels and resting our heads and chest to the floor. As you inhale, expand through the rib cage. As you exhale, melt down a little bit deeper. You're going to do three to four more breaths here. Give me one more breath. And then just lift your eye gaze, lift yourself up, come up into your hands and knees, hands on your shoulders, knees under hips. And then we're going to lift our eye gaze, lift our bottoms, and then come into back extension. Pull your shoulders back, squeezing the shoulder blades together, and then squeezing the belly, undulate through the spine and make a beautiful arch. <coughs> Sorry, I've got a dreadful cough. I'm about to have a cough a bit. <coughs> Repeat, back extension, eye gaze up, bottom up. Long deep breath in and then curl spine. I think it's the curling of the spine that my lungs don't like. And we're going to do that again. Inhale to begin, exhale. Eye gaze up, bottom up, shoulders pull back. We do the one more arch. We inhale, exhale, curl spine. Good. We go to tuck our toes under as we come back into neutral. And we're going to lift our bodies up into a downward facing dog. We're going to bend the knees quite deeply to allow a little bit more elevation through the bottom. And then we're going to press down into all four corners of our hands and then extend the arms and melt the head and chest down towards the thigh. And then we're going to play with those legs by bending and extending, keeping our back extended, our bottoms elevated, and just working on those hamstrings and calves. Breathing in, breathing out. Do another two each side, just working, working those legs and then press the heels down, lift up onto your tiptoes, press the heels down, lift up onto your tiptoes and try and keep your bottom high, back extended, head and chest melted, three more. One last one. And then press the heels to the floor, look forward, roll through the spine, bring yourself into a plank. Pause here, nice straight line for the body. Shoulders back, squeeze your butt, straighten the knees, pull your kneecaps up towards your hips, push back into your heels, soften through the elbows, strong positioning. Check out your position in the mirror, make sure your hips haven't dropped, but equally don't let them be up here either. Hold it for another five, four, three, two, and one. Knees down, bend the elbows and bring yourself down to the floor. Take your arms forward. Bring your legs together. Inhale. We're going to lift the head to chest, left arm, right leg drifts up, and then lowering down, swap over to the other side. Reach the body, reach through the fingers and toes. Hip bones down, abs on. Squeeze the butt. Think about the reach more than the height. Also, just don't let those shoulders lift up so they It's very easy just to kind of tense up through the shoulders. Elevate. And release. We're going to go six more. Keep going through the breath. Stay with that rhythm. Inhale as you drop. Exhale, reach. Out for four, three, last two, 
One more. Drop it down. Slide your arms all around, down towards those thighs. Take your feet a little bit wider. Keep those feet down for now. We're going to inhale, exhale. Same back positioning. We're going to lift up, reach the fingers. We're going to interlace those fingers behind the base of the spine and push our arms down towards our heels. We're going to hold our back extension and we're going to raise our arms up and lower them back down to the bottom. Exhale, lift. Inhale down. So just mobilizing those shoulders, opening out to the front of the chest. Keep pushing up and away from you. So you lift up, but you also slide towards the heels and you'll feel your shoulder blades squeezing that a little bit more. So I gaze is slightly down. Four more. Squeeze the butt. See if you can lift your chest a little bit more. Lift those arms a little bit more. Last two. Last one. Hold that stretch. Wake those muscles up this morning. Lift, 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 five, four, get those arms higher, two, and one. Release the hands, slide them under your forehead, lower everything down. Take your concentration to your legs. We're going to lift our left leg, going to bend the heel to the bottom, extend it back, go away, and lower it down. Right leg, lift, bend, extend, and down. Lift, fold, lengthen, and down. So I'm just lifting my kneecap, squeezing the heel in, lengthening, and lowering the leg back down to the floor. So it's a little bit of activation through the buttocks, the hamstrings, keeping your core pulled in tight to, so that you don't kind of pull the hip off the floor. We're going to go two more each side, one more to the left, two more to the left, two more to the right. Now I want you to pull your left one in, fold it in, point the toes to the sky and give me some impulses in that left butter, just lifting the side off the ground. Keep working, keep working, keep working. Give me eight more. Keep squeezing the belly in tight. Support your lower back. Five, four, three, two, and drop the knee. Bring the foot in. Slide your left hand around to catch the foot. Pull the heel lightly in towards the bottom. First of all, find your little quad stretch down here. So you might want to pull your knees a little bit closer in. Push the thigh into the floor to pull your foot into your bottom. And if this is a strong enough stretch for you, stay here and just drive that heel a little bit closer in, pushing the thigh and the hip bone down into the ground. If you want a little bit more, you can lift your head, lift your arm, and perhaps lift your knee. So now you're stretching through the front of the shoulder and reaching up. And if you want a little bit more, perhaps lift the opposite leg and float the body and squeeze and lift. And everyone's going to hold here for eight more seconds, wherever you are. Pull the knees together. Breathe. Put your hip bones down. Three, two, and one. Release it off. Hands back underneath the forehead. A little wriggle in the hips. Right leg. Lift it up. Bend it in, hold it here. Push your hips down into the floor and little pulses up towards the sky, squeezing that right butt cheek. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Come on, really squeeze it, put it up, put it up, make it active. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, last two, and one, bend it in, slide that left hand around to catch, right hand around to catch more legs. Get hold of the heel to the bottom, pull your knees close together, and then push, physically push your hip bones and pelvis down into the ground, and lift your kneecap to get that full quad stretch. If you want more, extend your arms, lift your head and chest, lift the knee, push the foot away into that hand so your arm extends. If you want more, hover the opposite leg and then and reach and hold. Wherever you are, pull the knees together. 
Squeeze the hip bones down to the ground. Breathe. Last five seconds. Come on, reach, 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 reach. One more breath. And release it off. Slide the hands underneath the head. Little wriggle. Now bring your hands gently underneath your shoulders. Lift off. Come into a cat stretch once you're here, curving everything under. Push the floor away, scoop the belly in, open out those shoulder blades. And then just release back to neutral spine. Tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Take it for a walk again. So bend the knees first, lift your hips, get as much length in the spine, melt the chest, and then walk through those legs. Taking long, deep breaths. And I want you to lift your left leg up behind you. So reach up towards the sky. My legs just been off the ground, off the um, screen. I'm just extending the knee, opening the hip very slightly. I'm pushing my right heel down towards the floor. And then you're gonna look forward and you're gonna swing that knee around the outside of your left arm and hold see if you can touch your knee to your elbow hold it drop your body into a plank hold it hold it hold it hold it five four three two and then change the foot position into a pigeon so just pull the foot around drop the knee down adjust your legs let's get the foot up lift your body weight up equally into the hips Find your lovely length through the spine, sink down. Now remember, hips and knees don't like it, drop down into the bottom there. Takes the pressure off, pull that knee at the back a little bit further forward, and then you've got your buttock stretch without the pressure in the joints. Lift up. So we're gonna try and do a little bit of rotation. This is the one where you can kind of fall over and collapse, but I'm not very good at it actually. So I'm gonna take my left hand in front, I'm going to reach my right arm and turn and look up towards that hand. So I'm staying sunk in my hips. I'm reaching up. We're going to take a couple of breaths. Turn the body, turn the body. And then we're going to bend this elbow and reach the arm under. So if you can reach all the way under without dropping down into your right hip, do so. I'd go about as far as there. And then just pull the arm through, stretch the shoulder blade. Feel your weight sinking down into your left hip. Let go of any tension. And if you don't like the twist, just bring your forearm side by side and drop here. No, get out of here. I told you I'd have a start with one child. Now, if you're twisted, bring yourself back onto your elbow. Find that center point and see if you can reach longer. Count three long deep breaths here. And then we come up onto our elbows, up onto our hands, we sink down into that buttock and we're gonna swing the right leg around and then the left leg comes here. So we're gonna lift up tall and pull that thigh in towards our chest, extending through the other leg. <coughs> Really use this opportunity to lift up, shoulders back, chest elevated. And then release your arms. Sink through your lower back, scoot the belly in, drop back into a half roll back and pause here. 
We're going to keep our left arm forward and take our right hand to the side of the head. And we're going to lift the opposite leg and twist. Drop the foot, twist. Drop the foot, twist. Now, if you wish, your left arm can squeeze into a little shoulder blade position. Pull back, drop forward. Pull back, drop forward. Eight. Seven, if you want more, go a little bit deeper. Six, so you drop and you lift. Five, four, follow that elbow that squeezes behind. Three, last two. One more, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. And then catch that thigh. Keep the leg at 45 degree angle, uh, 45, 90 degree angle if you can. And lift yourself up, walk down that leg and pull your knee in towards your shoulder and lift your spine tall. See if you can begin to extend that leg to the sky without dropping your lower back. Some of you might be able to catch your foot and then work on that hamstring stretch. Pushing your right leg deep down into the floor as you lift and lengthen your spine. So if you have a look at me side on, I've got as much extension as I can through the spine, straight back. If you're doing this, Walk back down your leg, bend the knee, and lift your spine towards your thigh, rather than being down here, trying to get this hamstring stretch. Okay, I want you to think about posture over hamstring in this one. But if you can do both, fabulous. Breathe. Reach tall, use your core, shoulders down, two more breaths. And then we carefully bend the knee, pop that foot over the other side of the leg. Wrap your right arm around, take your left hand to the base of the spine, lift up tall and turn and look over the shoulder. If you're looking over your left shoulder, you're pulling that thigh close in towards your chest, but keeping your buttock on the ground. So think about length and then think about rotation. The closer in your left hand is to your spine, the more you can lift the body tall. If you wish, you can stay here. If you want more, take hold of that foot again, extend the leg, take it across the other um, thigh. So I've twisted my leg over the other way. You might wanna stay here and breathe, or you might wanna open your arm. But again, if you're sinking like this through your back, use the support of your arm. This is about getting that perfect posture and reach and twist. Turn the leg further, push the arm further. Two more breaths here. Deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Then bring your eye gaze back. Drop that foot down, back where it was. And then just lift yourself up and take that foot across the thigh. We're going to lean back. We're going to bend the leg. And you're going to take your fingers to the side, pushing down into your, into your hands, the palm of your hands. Now pull your shoulders back and lift your chest. Options just to stay here and breathe. If you wish, you can lift up into one leg bridge. So one leg extended bridge. And we're going to press the hips up and down, pulling the chest out of the shoulders. Two, three. Big squeeze into that right hamstring. Open that knee. Keep it going. Last three repetitions. Big lift. One more hold. Lift the hips, lift the hips, lift the hips. And then carefully drop your bottom down. We're going to catch around the front of the shin. Now, we all know that I have really unflexible buttocks. So some of you can happily catch your leg and lift yourself up tall and slide that foot further and further in. I can't get my foot further than there, so I'm just gonna think about lifting. You can just use your hands behind you to push your chest in, shoulders back, which I actually feel is better for me. I get more of a stretch. Open out that knee, keep growing tall and keep your bottom firmly on the ground. Breathe. 
in through the nose, keep going back to that circulation breathing, out through the mouth. Keep growing tall, keep pushing your chest closer in towards your legs. So my arms are almost shaking by forcing that stretch a little bit more. Take one more breath. And then just ease off the arms, slide that leg, and then slide that foot across the ankle. So now that leg is pushing down to my opposite leg, and that's where we're going to stretch. We're going to lift up, and I'm going to catch my right foot. Now, if you can't grab your right foot, perhaps grab a towel or strap or something that you can do, or just hold on to the calf underneath and pull the toes in, and then drop down, soft breeze through that thigh, lowering the head and chest down, pulling the toes in, and getting into the hamstring. You might feel like the back of the knee, you might feel it in your lower back. Four deep breaths. Go a little bit further. Okay, begin to release, roll it up. Just uncross those legs. Give a little bit of freedom, a little bit of a shake. Out. I'm going to just slide over and turn face you. So I'm turning onto my left hip and I've got my feet kind of in that position. So feet are kind of together. Sole foot is pushing against the edge of my foot. And I'm going to relax my arm. And then I'm going to lean into my left hand. So my arm's going to be the strongest. And we're going to lift the body up and reach the arm and lower back down. Nice and easy, right? So come up, I'm pushing up onto my knee and I'm dropping back down. So this is kind of like your stage one. Lift a little mini side, half plank and back down. If you want more, bring the knees together. You can lift and extend the leg and drop everything back down again. So if you're here, just keep those knees wide, lift and drop. So give me four more, I'm sliding away. Now you're gonna hold your last one up into the air. So lengthen that leg. So if you are here, hold here. If you want a bit more challenge, take that leg out and then lift and hold a little bit higher. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Reach the fingers, reach the toes. Eight, seven, six. Lift up through the hips. Squeeze that butt cheek on the floor, the one that's legs on the floor. Last three, two, and one. Just drop briefly for a moment. Slide down to that elbow. Pull your knees in towards your chest and tuck them in to hold. So now I'm balancing on my buttock. Pull the chest out of the shoulders and draw those knees in tight like you do a little stretch. Now squeeze the belly, lift those, those um, lift your head out of your shoulders so you're not sunken down and then take your hand to the outside edge of your foot. We're going to, so this is kind of the harder one. We're going to lengthen and reach the arm and then pull everything back in for one. So we're kicking away, dropping down to my arm, lifting up onto my elbow for two. The alternative is to drop your lower leg and do it with the lower leg rested on the ground. Kick the legs away, reach the arm, squeeze it in. And pull in seven. Eight, well, those are bleaks. Nine, what, six more, we're going for 15 of these. 10, 11, 12, 13, 
14, one more. So hold this one in for me. Hold it in, hold it in. Reach towards those toes. Side bend. Take one more breath. Hold here and then straighten your legs up towards you. Reach the arm up by the ear and pull those legs in. Hold it. Five, four. Come on, get those legs in tight, even if they're bent. Two and one. Release. Take a breath here. Lift yourself up. Slide that knee behind the foot. Take that foot out a little bit and then just drop down and stay here for a few breaths. Nice one, deep breath into the nose, out through the mouth, but the shoulders relax. Come up into your hands. And then bring yourself back into the center again. Just lift up tall. And then we're going to swing our feet around behind us onto our hands and knees. Once you are there, tuck your toes and lift yourself back up into a downward facing dog. As always, bending the knees, lifting the bottom, finding that beautiful straight spine, walking through the legs. Ground the heels down, find that wonderful triangular position through the body. Lift your left leg, your right leg, sorry, up to the sky. Pushing your left heel down into the floor, pointing the toe, squeezing that butt cheek. We're going to look forward. We're going to swing the body forward. And that right knee comes into the right elbow and you're going to hold it. See if you can touch it. Lengthen the leg, squeeze and hold the plan. Seven, six. Come on, reach that knee right up. Four, three, two. And then swing it around into a pigeon. Turn the knee out. Heel underneath your hip bone. And lift. Shoulders relaxed, sink down. You might want to stretch that leg a little bit further behind you to get a little bit more kind of depth. Right hand in front, left arm reaches, twist and look up towards that hand. Squeeze the shoulder blade. Try not to turn and drop down into your buttock too much, just twist from the waist. Take a long deep breath in, and on the exhale, we're going to curve it under, reach through. Just go as far as your body allows you to. Try not to just fall over. Remember, if you don't like it, just come to forearms. Three long deep breaths here. Melt down into your hips. So if you've looped your arm under, just great, bring your arms back together in the center, find that place. And if you wish, you can take your arms further and go even deeper into the stretch. The stretch, four, breath. Now begin to come up onto your elbows, up onto your hands, sink down into that bottom and swing your leg all the way around in front, taking the right knee into the chest, grab hold and sit tall. <coughs> so this is where you want to focus on that spine. We've got a good five minutes focusing purely on your spine. Lots of elevation, shoulders back, chest up, pushing that left leg down to the floor. And then we release the arms. We scoot the belly in, we drop down to a half roll back. We take in the left hand to the side of the head. We're gonna lift up and twist and drop back down. Lift, twist, drop back down. Now let's move this arm. Lift, squeeze and look to the elbows, you twist the knee. 
and extend the arms, foot drops. If you want more, when you drop your foot, sink back a little bit, then come up, turn. Exhale. Inhale. Try and keep this opposite leg grounded. Oh, got to use the arm then. Go for six and five. Come on, twist and turn that body. Reach four, three. Lower belly pulled in as tight as you can go. Last one. Pause, 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 pause. And then turn back. Catch that leg. Keep it bent. Walk up and lift up tall. Take your walk down your leg. And then use the leg, the arms, the arms where I'm forced to be holding my leg to then lift my chest. Get as much spinal extension as you can. If you can catch your foot, catch your foot. If you can, if your hamstrings allow it, straighten the leg. Please don't roll through that spine. This is about elevation. This is why it's quite good on a camera because you can look at your body positioning from the side. So we're lifting the chest, we're straightening that knee if you can. And breathing into this. Pull the shoulders back and down. Two more breaths here. So we begin to bend the knee. Pop the foot over the outside of the opposite leg. Take your right hand to the base of the spine, lift up. Wrap the left arm around. Pull your thigh in towards your chest, but push the bottom down. Lift tall and then turn over that right shoulder. So the closer in your hand is, remember, the more you can get that spine extension, that twist, squeeze the belly, but get some freedom to allow another inch. Two more breaths, long deep breath, in through the nose, out through the mouth. It's the breathing that makes your stretching better. And then we take our eye gaze back first, um, twist yourself, lean lightly back into your hands and take that foot across the knee. So we're gonna bend, foot to the floor, fingers pointing out to the side. Push that knee away, lift your chest. Stay here and breathe. Or if you can, lift those hips up. Big strong push through the chest. Inhale, drop down, exhale, lift. Lots of work into that left buttock and that left hamstring. Push the body away. Five more. Oops, someone's trying to get in. Keep going, four. Three. <coughs> two give me one more lift up and then release the bottom back down and let's take it into stretch so if you can grab around the front of the shin and pull yourself into that lovely tall position again do so open that knee again i'm going to use my arms behind me i'm just going to change my hand position a little bit turn my fingers away and then I'm going to move my hands in, lift taller, pull my chest closer to my legs. You might be able to pull the heel in a little bit. And breathe. Don't hunch the shoulders, keep everything relaxed. Oh, my shoulders don't like this. Okay, when we begin to release the leg, we slide the leg and we pop that right foot over the left ankle. We pull the left foot in towards you, lift up tall, and we're going to try and catch the foot or around the underneath of your calf or use a little band, strap, belt, towel, jumper, anything. We lift and lengthen and we then drop down, we pull the toes in. So allow this leg to be quite heavy on the opposite leg so you feel kind of that pressure that horrible little nasty stretch behind the outside of your hamstring and then just fold it 
two more breaths. And then just ease it off. Uncross your legs. And then we're going to turn ourselves over to the other side. So I'm just going to flip ends so I stay facing you. <coughs> Come up onto the hand. And then get your legs in this position. So my left foot's on the ground and my right leg is uh, resting on the floor. Rest the arm. And we're going to push up and lift up and over and drop back down. So squeezing it underneath butt cheek, getting as much elevation as we can and reach. If you want more, you can stack your knees one to the other and then just get a little bit more, lifting the leg at the top and dropping it back down again. I don't know about you, but I just slide away from my hand. So if you do slide away from your hand, just after two or three, just slide yourself back in again. Reach, lengthen, squeeze up through that leg. Abduction from that hip. Three more. Last two. Hold the last one for me, please. So lift up wherever you are. You might be here, that's fine. You might be there, that's also fine. Lift and lengthen. And let's press. Squeezing up through the hips. Squeeze it underneath buttocks, so that buttocks really fired out. Eight, seven, six, five. I don't think we pulsed the other side, I think we just held. Anyway, and then release down. I was doing well until that point. I was like, I don't remember doing that on the other side. Now bring yourself down to your elbows and then tuck those legs in and hold them in. <coughs> Is cough. I think I've coughed my brain out, to be honest. Okay, pull the thighs to the chest and lift tall. So don't sink down into those shoulders. Keep thinking. Spine, elevation. And then once we release, we take our hand down by the ankle, outside of the ankle. And then we kick the legs away. Arm floats behind. I drop down onto my shoulder and I pull back up onto my elbow. Nice and light through the body. Up to this, drop the lower leg and pull in that. We'll work on those obliques. Lengthen that away. Remember, you're just balancing on that buttock. Six more of these. Please come make them strong. Squeeze into the belly. Five. Four. Reach it. Three. Last two. And one, and then kick away. Hold, lift those legs up or bend them. Lift the arm up high, lift, 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 lift. Five, four, come on, pull them up more. Two, and one, release. Pull that leg forward, lift up onto your bottom, bend that leg behind. Take it a little bit further if you can, and then drop down into that button. <coughs> Too many clothes on. Should have worn a light vest. I've got sweat. <laughs> I've got sweat on. Excuse me. <coughs> oh, this cough, honestly. Right, just relax here. Few breaths. One last breath. And then lift yourself up. Swing both your legs around. Straighten out through the legs. <coughs> Bring your fingertips to the side of the head. Scoot the belly in, roll back. I'm going to lift one leg, twist, drop it down. Inhale, exhale. So the last thing we're going to do together today, guys, just work a little bit more into those abs. If your legs don't like being straight, you bend. If your arms don't like being up here because it adds more load to the abs, take it 
to here and work there. Yeah, there's your kind of free alternatives. Eight, seven, come on, try and get those legs straight. Five, four, squeeze those abs. And two, one more, one more. And one, release the arms, roll it up, stick and lengthen your body up tall, pull the toes in, lift those heels, get a long stretch all the way to catch the feet. Hopefully you all can. Catch on to the legs if you can't. Lovely elevation, so that spine should be beautifully extended at the moment. And then a soft fold down. 10 seconds, lowering your body down. Taking a long deep breath. And then just roll it out one more time. We take our fingers behind, facing out to the sides, pointing the toes, see if you can lift the hips, your alternative is bent knee. Just to lift out the chest one more time, holding there. And then carefully drop your bottom down to the ground. Bring yourself, your soles of the feet together. Knees out to the side, lift up and just press your legs up and down. Nice little kind of bouncy motion, but controlled. And just use this opportunity to lift tall again, swing that chest forward, shoulders down, elbows a little bit bent into the rib cage. And then softly let the lower back sink back. Drop down, 10 second hold here. Open the knees a little bit more every time you exhale. And then just ease it off. Slide yourself more into a comfortable place. Hands on the knees, lift up tall. Close your eyes and then let go of any tension. So rather than just yanking hold of the knees, let just the arms kind of be a bit loose and just sit on your spine comfortably and then brush your fingers to the floor, palms forward. And then inhale, you can raise your arms up. Bring your hands light together above your head, closing down, bowing down towards the floor, dropping your chin to your chest, looking down towards your fingertips. And then roll it back up. Give yourselves a little clap, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me this morning. Sorry about my coughing. Right. Thank you, Polly. Thank you, Polly.